guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am finally doing my updated hair care routine. I have been meaning to do this video for so long. The very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube was my five steps to healthy hair care routine. And although I think that that information is still very relevant, I still use it every single day. I just feel like the quality of my videos and my filming style has really changed over the years. So I just wanted to give you an updated version and I wanted to give you a video that I really felt proud about. So yeah, I'm just going to try and give you as much information today on how I care for my hair. And and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so my healthy hair secret weapon is my wooden brush. I am absolutely in love with this thing and I will never, ever, ever, ever be without it. When you use a wooden brush, it absorbs your hair's natural oils. So when you brush your hair, it distributes these oils evenly and conditions your hair. And it also reduces static and breakage. And it's just the perfect tool if you're trying to grow long, healthy hair. I will never, ever go back to using a plastic or a metal brush again. And they also massage acupressure points on your head, which is great for stimulating circulation to the scalp and you know promoting healthy hair growth. It's like every time I use this, I'm getting a scalp massage. So I have three different wooden brushes. I have two by the brand Eurotech, a large oval brush and a small travel size brush. And these are the highest quality brushes I've ever come across. They're made in Germany, they're made of maple wood, and I bought them at Whole Foods around four years ago, and unfortunately, I cannot find these brushes anywhere. I've searched everywhere. I've looked at Whole Foods, I've looked online, and I just can't seem to find these brushes anywhere, and that makes me really sad because I want to recommend a brush that you guys can actually buy. So I'm going to keep my eye out for these, and hopefully I can find a place where you can get them. And recently I bought this wooden brush, and it's by the brand Tech. It's made in Italy, and I really have been loving this. I love the size, I love the shape. It's just a really great brush. So yeah, you can look for this brand, T-E-K tech. I find that there's really big quality differences with wooden brushes. I have been using a wooden brush for years and years and I used to buy this one from my local health food store. It's one that you can find at a lot of different places but every few months it would just completely break like this part would just rip out and keep in mind I have a lot of hair but I still felt like it wasn't a well-made brush. So I went through around six of those brushes before I found my Eurotech brushes and I've had my Eurotech brush for around four years. It's still going strong, it looks completely brand new to me and all the bristles are still attached. So yeah, try and look for a company that actually specializes in making wooden brushes. I find that the Europeans make the best wooden brushes. Oiling your hair is one of the best ways that you can condition your hair. It keeps your hair hydrated, it keeps it soft, it keeps it shiny, and there are so many oils that you can use for your hair. Some of my personal favorites are argon oil, coconut oil of course, jojoba oil is really good if you have thin hair because it's really light, avocado oil, I mean there's so many different oils. You can really use anything you want, you just want to make sure that it's unrefined, cold pressed preferably, and and organic. And I also like to add in some essential oils or some neem oil. Rosemary essential oil is really, really good for stimulating circulation to the scalp. It makes your hair so soft and it just really promotes healthy hair growth. And same with neem. Neem is amazing for growing strong, healthy hair. It's just a beautiful oil. So I kind of like to just mix a few oils together and make my own hair conditioner. So there's two ways that I oil my hair. I will either just coat my hair in the oil of my choice and then just leave it in my hair for a few hours or even overnight and then just shampoo it out or else I will do a gradual oiling. And this is what I've been doing lately. I think it's really perfect for the winter time. And basically I just put a little bit of oil through my ends every single day, just the smallest amount so my hair doesn't look greasy. And I just keep doing that every single day 
until I shower. So it's kind of like my hair's always being nourished by these oils. And also when you're oiling your hair, it's the perfect time to give yourself a scalp massage. And a scalp massage promotes healthy hair because it stimulates the circulation to your scalp and it also helps you relax and relieve stress because, I mean, who doesn't want a scalp massage. I personally love scalp massages and hand massages. Any other massage I don't really care for, but I mean, I will have a hand massage and a scalp massage 24 seven and be the happiest girl alive. So now it's time to talk about shampoo and conditioner. You can read the label of your bottle of shampoo and it can make it sound like the most amazing, spectacular shampoo. It's gonna make your hair grow out healthy. It's gonna make it shiny, soft, beautiful. But that's mainly marketing. They just want you to buy the shampoo and conditioner. So, you know, it's pretty much just lies. What you wanna be doing is looking at the back of the bottle and checking out the ingredient list. I would look for something that doesn't have things like sulfates, fragrances, salt, you know, just chemicals that are gonna strip your hair and aren't that good for your health. My favorite shampoo, as you guys know, is by a brand called Kalia. I've done a whole video on them. They're just an amazing company. Their products really work for my hair. They're very gentle, they're very uh, natural and I just love Kalia so much so of course I had to mention them again I've been using them for years and I'll use them for the rest of my life I love you Kalia I also like to use a shower filter so I can be washing my hair in the best water possible and I try to only shampoo my hair every four to six days I wash my body every day but I only uh, shampoo and condition every four to six days and I find that the longer you go without shampooing the more your hair balances out and then you don't have to shampoo as often if that makes any sense and your hair's oils kind of act as conditioners so it's good not to be stripping them out of your hair every single day and I also highly 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 recommend doing hair rinses I have two hair rinses that I do all the time one is an apple cider vinegar rinse where I just put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the bottom of a cup around two tablespoons maybe and then fill the cup up with water and then just dump that over my head after I'm finished shampooing and conditioning and I just leave that in my hair and it leaves my hair so soft and shiny and the apple cider vinegar clarifies it so it just I always have a good hair day after I do an apple cider vinegar rinse. And the second rinse I do, I actually have a video on, and that is the rosemary hair rinse. And rosemary is just amazing for growing long, healthy hair. Basically, I just take some fresh rosemary and simmer it in a pot with some water, and then once it cools down, just dump it over my head, and it leaves my hair so soft and shiny, and it smells so amazing. So yeah, hair rinses can really make a big difference on your hair. And a lot of people People swear by the no poo method where you wash your hair with baking soda and then condition it with apple cider vinegar and I do like doing that to my hair sometimes more as a clarifying treatment but I really prefer just using a shampoo and conditioner but I thought I would just still mention it because maybe you guys want to check it out or try it out for yourself because it is a really a cheap way to shampoo and condition your hair and it does make your hair feel really really nice so that's another option for shampooing and conditioning now my next tip is probably the hardest tip for a lot of people but that is just cut down on the amount of heat you're using in your hair. And you don't have to do this forever, you can just try and limit your use. If you use a straightener every day, maybe just try and straighten it only once a week. You just really want to give your hair a break and allow it to become healthy again. And I've talked about this before, but I used to straighten my hair every single day for high school and it just damaged my hair so much. My hair looked horrible without styling. I would straighten my hair my hair would become more damaged, so then I would have to straighten it even more to make it look healthy again. It would become even more damaged, and it was just this vicious, vicious cycle for me. So one day I just cut that cycle and I was like, I'm just not going to use heat on my hair anymore. I'm going to let my hair grow out and be natural. And that's what I did. And now I'm really, really happy with my natural hair. I don't need to style it anymore. I just let it air dry. I don't use any styling tools. I don't use any styling products. So just do a little challenge with yourself and try to reduce the amount of heat that you use in your hair for a while. And I guarantee you will see a huge improvement with your hair. 
Damage proof hairstyles is really important when it comes to growing long healthy hair. For me, my favorite protective hairstyle is just putting my hair in a side braid. You guys probably noticed from like 80% of my videos that I always have my hair in a side braid. My go-to everyday hairstyle is just a side braid with some sort of hat. And I just find that it keeps my hair protected, prevents it from getting matted, and I love braids. I think that they look really cute. And I always wear protective hairstyles to bed. If I go to bed with my hair down, I will wake up with the worst matted, poofy, dry hair. So I have two protective hairstyles that I wear to bed. I will either twist my hair into a bun and then secure it at the front of my head with a big clip. And I love doing this because the next morning I just wake up with the perfect waves in my hair. So it's kind of like a heatless way to style your hair. Or else I will sleep with my hair in a braid and then secure it with a scrunchie. And I like to use a scrunchie because sometimes an elastic will break your hair, but a scrunchie is soft and gentle and it won't cause any breakage. As most of you guys know, I am a firm believer in eating a healthy whole foods diet. And I also really believe that you are what you eat. And if you eat beautiful nourishing foods, it'll just shine through and you will look beautiful on the outside. So I definitely think that food plays a huge role in having healthy hair. Eat your omega-3 fatty acids, eat your mineral rich foods. I love starting my day off with a green drink every day. It gives me those minerals, it's detoxifying, and I just feel like it's the most beautifying elixir in the world. Just eat real food. And a lot of you guys ask what supplements I take for my hair, and if I could recommend one supplement for a hair, it would probably be MSM powder. MSM is an organic sulfur compound that benefits our skin, hair, nails, and joints due to its collagen building properties. It's also a wonderful anti-inflammatory and great for detoxifying the body. I will mention that there are huge quality differences in MSM supplements, so always look for a non-petroleum derived MSM, and you can use it both internally and externally. And another little tip that I still recommend is just go to your local beauty supply store and get some little trimming shears, just little scissors to cut your hair. And just go through your hair whenever you're bored and find those little split ends and just, you know, give them a little snip off and it's gonna make it so you don't have to go to the hairdresser as often. You know, that is my little trick. So those are my tips to achieving long, healthy hair naturally. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and let me know what do you guys do to keep your hair healthy. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.